fighters who I think are, are overrated. Now, not that they're not good fighters, and not that they're possibly or potentially great fighters, but you can't tell me the time when they were telling me that Golovkin was top 25 fighter in the past 25 years. And then on top of that, Abel Sanchez is on record saying that we're going to go up, we'll go to 175, we'll beat everybody from 160, no, 154, because they were talking about fighting Mayweather and Canelo, but they were going to go down to fight Canelo, but they were willing to go down to fight Mayweather, and he said they can go all the way up, and they, they and they're supposed to be the most feared fighters. Then when he's saying this, Laura is calling them out. So, okay, I'll come up the middle way. And next thing you know, they ignore him, and then they fight Willie the Worm Monroe. Mm. Then after that, he they hyped up the David Lee Mew match. This is going to be the biggest slug fest since the Hagler Hearns. Are you serious? David Lee Mew shouldn't even be in that same. Uh, you should, don't even mention him near those names. So then, then he outboxed David Lee. Cool. He, he took that approach. And then he um, decides to fight the unheralded Dominique Wade. Then he fights the smaller Kale Brook. You know what I mean? And then he, fought, he found time, you know, to get in uh, later on, like Steve Rose and Bonds Monterosa and all of these guys. Like After a while, people wanted to fight him. And he started fighting those caliber opponents. You can't tell me you're the top 25 fighter in the last 25 years when you're doing stuff like that. So I thought he was just a, a, a tad bit overrated for what they were saying about. And the last guy that I'm gonna say, and I, I know Danny, that kind of hurts you because you told you said that yo, you went to New York, and I was like the best event that you went to. I apologize, but it's just how I feel about these things. I, I'm not. I'm not even mad at that. If you remember, I said some of those same lines when I had him in my like number ten for my whatever the decade, my my pound for pound the decade. So I, yeah, I'm not even mad at it. Yeah, and that's why you said that you didn't rank him higher because of those things. I, I hate. It. Now, I'm, I'm gonna be kind with this one as well, but I think. I'm going to be honest, man. I think Loma is slightly overrated. I do. I honestly do. Let me give you, let me give you my rationale and the reason why. Now, he's good. Yeah, I told you, the Matrix, man, like some of the things that I do is, is, is really great. But he's hyped up to me because, for one, he's 14 and one with a loss to Orlando Salido. So, for me, that, and when they're talking about, okay, this guy's the greatest since Mayweather. That was the second fight. <laughs> his second no, no, fight. I, I know. I just, hear me out. Just let okay. me go ahead and speak my piece. That's all. all you right, know, go he, got the, he, he got the, his, his, one of his biggest victories over the guy we just mentioned, Gary Russell. You know, I remember that was a majority decision, but he got the victory. Great. All right. Then he has a victory over the, you know, Great Olympian. Unfortunately, he was 58 years old, and he was coming up two weight classes and Ricky Ricky out, you know. But so he got that on his victory. And then, you know, I know that he got the Nicholas Waters victory on his belt, but Nicholas Waters was out like a whole year, having trouble making weight, and in his last outing, he had to draw against uh, Jason Sosa. So he should have won. He may have. I'm just saying, like yeah, for me, I mean, when, when, there. when you telling me that these guys are um, the greatest thing since Mayweather or even Bob Arum is saying all of these things like you you that's going a little bit too not it, it's some of the other things that they said as well where they putting them in and like the close to some, like some of the all time greats and stuff like that just pump your brakes you know what I mean let him you know get a more uh, some more quality victories under his belt and then I, I you have my full support but this let's not make people more special than what they are is all i'm saying so those are the two that's on my list as far as being a little bit hyped up 